All right, hey guys, I'm back again, and this game was requested a while back, and I've been meaning to get to it. So let's go ahead and give you guys what I promised. We'll do an hour of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This is the Switch port of the Wii version, so um, it's different than the uh, original uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 version. But it's pretty cool. It's a good one. Um, it has some interesting, like, uh, I guess, uh, motion controls, which I probably won't fuck with for this playthrough, but they did adapt some, uh, some standard controls here, which I should probably look over. Yeah, see, they put all the uh, motion control stuff on buttons for this one, which is good. So, let's get it started here. I'm already a little bit in the game, so we're just going to continue. And this does run at 60 FPS, so I'm doing a 60 FPS video for this. The graphics weren't too bad for we found now your hatred has become your strength at last the dark side is your and end. we're doing the strawberry delish bang today apprentice. what is your will my master your training is nearly complete it is time to face your first true test your spies have located a Jedi. Yes, Master Rom. Actually, this is the second mission. I really never liked the Darth Boy, Vader mission. I felt it was too slow. So I will leave it once, Master. The Emperor cannot discover. This is a good place to start. No witnesses. Kill everyone aboard, Imperials and Coda's men alike. As you wish, my Master. Textures are kind of blurry, like PS2 Gen. It's kind of typical for the Wii having PS2-like ports. The proxy. But this does look like it's 1080p native, so that's not bad. Captain Juno Eclipse, born on Coralag, where she became the youngest student ever accepted into the Imperial Academy. Decorated combat pilot with over 100 combat missions. See, the Imperials are based. Tanks. They get them Aryan cuties. Vader to lead his Black Five squadron. But later reassigned to they a get all this dysgenic freaks in uh, the in rebellion. Team. Not in modern Actually, yes. Disney Star Wars, though. The Imperials are multicultural oh, in the nice. Disney verse. You, she's going to be impossible to reprogram. But this was the last game before Disney bought you know them, I'm pretty here? sure. Yes, my orders are clear. I'm to keep your ship running and fly you wherever your missions require. Can't remember if uh, the Battlefront that. remake came out no. after the but Disney acquisition. He gave Lord Vader good cause to do so. I will not. Well, let's hope so. I'm sick of training new pilots. What have you done to my ship? I've taken the liberty of upgrading the Rogue Shadow sensor array. Now you'll be able to spy on any suspect ship across an entire system. You are it's basically the same spies. voices from the 360 you don't need version. To know anything about my missions except where I'm going. I'm not sure no, if this version. Can you handle that? Not sure if this version has its own exclusive missions or exclusive cutscenes. Never beaten it. I didn't know it was a good alternate version until many years later. I just assumed it was a shitty Wii adaptation, but it's it's not that bad from what I played. It's not that bad.
I think this game was supposed to be canon originally, and then they removed it from the canon. According to Imperial records, Master Rom Kota was a respected general in the Clone Wars. Yep, Star yeah, Wars general. is Jover. I bring Darth Vader's enemies to justice. Now so do you. Go ahead, Proxy. Master Kota was a military genius, but felt the clone soldiers were not fit for battle. Instead, he relied on his own militia. So there were no clones in his squad when Order 66 was issued? And after Order 66, he vanished. Official Imperial records actually claim he's dead. So why come out of hiding and attack the Empire now? He wants to be found. Then we're walking into a trap. How many pilots Correct. have you lost before me? Seven. Excellent. Coordinates for Nashadar are locked. Prepare for light speed. Fucking epic! The shipyard has sustained heavy damage. Epic! I better sit up. I just want to kick back and watch this cutscene. Center and get that hologram projector up and running. Tell all squads to fan out and funnel any opposition towards us. Explosive charges on levels 2, 5, and 12, just like... Looks planned. like they have yes, some sir. sort of, like, bump mapping on the textures on this Wii version. I'm kind of seeing a little bit of bumpiness to, like, his armor. You can kind of see the... So one advantage Wii had over the PS2, at least, it, it could do bump mapping. But... In the end, the Wii was a souped-up GameCube. The nearest open hangar. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the slash. And it does have ragdoll physics, it just doesn't have the elite Euphoria engine like the like the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC version. But um, from what I played, the ragdoll still looks pretty good. I wonder if I can platform up to there. I think I tried this before and it didn't really lead to anything in particular. Yeah, like, there's just this thing, which... Oh, well. There's the lightning. Oh yeah, that's the force grab. Block. And if you hold slash, he blocks. What about, uh... Oh yeah, there's the dash. Yeah, the traditional controls work pretty well. Oh, wait, can I do... Ah, oh, the camera, though. Wait, hold on. Gotta remember the controls here. No, grab... No, grab, uh... The camera's a little shit in this, I felt. Why is he not grabbing that? Oh, and then he shoots it, of course. Trying to figure out the controls, you bitch. Zap you. Yes, I know, I just did it. You don't have to tell me as I'm doing it. Goddamn tutorials. Ah, yes. Still has the charge up. Blast. And you get some nice physics when you do that, so... It's not bad. It's no Euphoria engine, but... I'm actually... I was actually sad when they didn't use the Euphoria engine too much after this game and Grand Theft Auto. Max Payne 3 had it, but it wasn't really used to its potential in that. Like, the whole idea was that it's like an animation system driven by AI. 
so they'll try to like grab stuff as you pick them up, or if they fall off a ledge, they'll try to grab hold and all that, but yeah, they they haven't really used the engine since then. It's kind of a shame. It sucks that good physics calculations kind of went to the wayside in favor of just going for 4K or ray tracing, you know? I thought Euphoria was awesome. Especially in this game on the HD consoles. I don't know if I can get up there. Oh yeah, there's a power-up. So I must be able to somehow. Is that somewhere I go later, maybe? Not too sure. Wait, hold on. There we go. I like that little subtle, like, depth of field I'm noticing. Not sure how to make it. I think it's when there's an object in your way. Yeah. That's sort of like a transparent depth of field effect. That's pretty good. And my voice might sound a little bit hoarse because I was screaming at the top of my lungs last night trying to beat that freaking R-Type boss. I think this is maybe exclusive to this version. You can pick up these turrets and use them. Pretty sure you couldn't do that on uh, the HG consoles. Ellen. Yeah, boy. Zap him. <clears throat> Those shadows look really chunky. I need to fire up this on the original Wii to see how it looks. I assume they kept all the graphics... oh, intact. I don't think they added anything. Other than the HD resolution, obviously. But yeah, it's a really fun version. Apparently, the Force Unleashed 2 on the Wii is a completely different developer, though. And it turned out terrible, so... Wait, why can't I... Where is, like... Not letting me grab that. Or wait, do I have to throw something into it? I can't tell what's going on. Huh. Not sure what that's about. But let's move on. Yeah, it's still pretty fun to kill all the human enemies. The great thing about Force Unleashed 2, though, is it introduced the dismemberment. And, uh... Apparently that new Jedi Survivor game has, uh... Dismemberment again. That sounds cool, but, uh... Unfortunately, EA decided to screw over people who love collecting physical games. And Jedi Survivor... Um... The full game is not on the disc. So how about that? You, it's a download required. I think I was hearing reports that there was maybe like 60 gigs on the disc and the game is like 150 or 160 gigabyte total. So you're going to be downloading around 100 gigabytes when you first get the game. For people like me with shit internet and people like me who love physical ownership rights. It's a no-go for me. The first uh, Jedi Fallen Order game was great, and I just knew that with the sequel they were gonna try to pull some shit, because this is what these companies do. They rope you in with a good first game, or like a first movie, or a couple episodes of a show, and then they pull some shit, either adding a bunch of wokeness, some anti-consumer shit, whatever, like microtransactions. It always freaking happens. It's a very uh, elvish thing to do, wouldn't you agree? Um, but yeah, I'm not buying Jedi Survivor now. Might be a good game, but I'll play it eventually on PC. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Wait, he wouldn't... 
I hit the double jump and he just didn't do it. Not sure why. Now I gotta wait. But yeah, these level layouts are similar, but also different. Like, the hangers look kind of similar to the HD console version. But, uh, not quite. Alright, so let's make sure he does the double jump this time. There we go. But yeah, that's a real shame that Fallen doing? Order is going to have zero physical collection value now because of the half-digital bullshit. More than half-digital, actually. It's even worse. But, you know, when anti-consumer things come into play with gaming, you always know a certain group of people is behind that, so most likely the game itself will be a woke pile of shit as well. Now, Jedi Fallen Order had its woke bits, but it was what I consider light woke. You know, oh, there's a little bit of diversity here. This woman is kind of strong, but that's, like, usually the end of it. That shit sucks, too, don't get me wrong, but it's more bearable. I get the feeling that Jedi Fallen Order might have, like, you know, Wolfenstein 2 or Last of Us 2 level of wokeness, but we shall see. Well, I won't see for a while, because <laughs> I'm not buying that shit. But yeah, just watch. Everything woke goes to shit. That is very true. Alright, let's see. I might have to go... Only on this one. But yeah, they always gotta ruin shit. Jedi Fallen Order was like, Oh, look, it's the first decent Star Wars game in, like, what? What was it, like, eight years or so? So, I mean, I consider the last good game to be this, Force Unleashed or Force Unleashed 2. Force Unleashed 2 was a bit disappointing as well because it was so short. Um, that Endor DLC did help it, but only a little bit. But, you know, short length isn't always a bad thing, but with that game, you really felt like you wanted more. But yeah, Force Unleashed 2 wasn't too bad. It was the last good Star Wars game before uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I didn't like Battlefront 1 because it was online only. And then uh, Battlefront 2 had the single player, but it was super woke because it was Disney. So they had the uh, POC female main character who's an Imperial. And then they couldn't even make her like fully evil she had to be like oh she actually since she's a strong poc woman she betrays the empire and goes to the rebels so they hyped it up like oh you're gonna play an imperial story this time it's like nope she's only an imperial at the very start of the game plus she's a fucking poc woman so you have no attachment to the character whatsoever the target demographs of gaming Fucking wasps. But no. I think even the stuff where they say, uh... Like, obviously... When they say, like, females love gaming too, and... Or stuff where they say mobile gaming is more popular, or digital gaming is more popular. Uh, the digital gaming thing, that's, uh... I bet a lot of that is mobile game downloads, it's not even hardcore games. And the women into gaming thing, that's women who play shitty mobile games. It's not, that doesn't count. These women are not playing R-Type Final 3. God damn, I'm going off on a rant today. I don't know why. I think because I really liked Star Wars originally, and that's one of the franchises that has been completely destroyed. So it gets me a little fired up, so you could say. Tell me. Why? I'm dead anyway. Okay, please just stop. Then talk. Master, go to control room. Master Coda. Hey! 
See if I can actually throw something. That didn't work too bad. Whoa. Do some more lightning. Any more? Not seeing any more. Can't remember if these are supposed to be like patrol droids. I thought these were like mechanic droids or something. I do remember seeing those in the original movie. I hear an R2 unit. Where is he? Oh! It's a black R2. Can't have that. And by can't have that, I mean Imperials, nothing else. Because I, I hate Imperials and Fascism, you know me. Actually, I should have worn my Imperial shirt today, but... I decided to dress classy in the button-up shirt today. Oh, shit. And I think I might record a second hour of gameplay for you guys as well, because uh, the the vote I did a couple days ago, um, at first... Hold on. I picked the winner, and then uh, Double Dragon and Kunio-kun... Uh, got more votes after I closed the poll, so I decided I should uh, do that as well, so I'll probably record that after this. I gotta figure out... Oh wait, is that the objective marker? Might be. Watch this video get claimed as well because of the Star Wars music. Oh boy. Yeah, you can raise stuff up with the D-pad as well. So we'll we'll slowly get better at this. Whoa! Oh! Okay, zap him. I don't know if I can level up any of my abilities yet. Oh, finding more holocrons. But yeah, I was one of those Star Wars fans in the 90s, before even the special edition, like, re-releases came out. I was huge into Star Wars from the 80s. Um, so in the 90s, you know, I was the nerd in school who was going to the library every day to look for a new Star Wars book. Well, not every day, obviously, but... I would go to the library and read the current Star Wars book I was on, and I read through a shitload of the Expanded Universe stuff, like the Timothy Zahn books, uh, the Kevin J. Anderson books, all those, like, Rogue Squadron uh, books that they did. I was reading all that stuff. Uh, Courtship of Princess Leia, uh, Tales from... Oh, shit. Tales from Moss Eisley, there was Tales uh, from Jabba's Palace, I think. And I believe that one explained how Boba Fett got out of the, out of the uh, Sarlacc pit. So, I mean, I was a mega fan. Like, I wanted to know everything about the universe. You know, George Lucas set up this big universe, but there was only the three movies in it at the time. So yeah, I gravitated towards the books, the games. Shadows of the Empire was an amazing time. Because it felt like, okay, things are going to get moving again with Star Wars. Like, I bet George Lucas will finally make the prequels that were always rumored. Well, he, he directly talked about them in interviews as well. So yeah, um... 
But now apparently, I'm not the target audience of Star Wars. It never, it never belonged to uh, people like me. You know, we were never actually welcome. Yeah, bullshit. All the people that like Star Wars now, I bet they haven't even read any of those books. And Disney, oh man, that's the first sign I knew Disney was gonna fuck it over. When they uh, announced that the expanded universe was being completely erased. Well, no, it's not erased. Disney, you're fucking erased. Okay, where do I go here? I'm assuming I gotta climb, maybe? Going ape shit up there. But yeah, it's it's a real fucking shame what happened to Star Wars. Oh shit. See, he didn't double jump again there. Maybe it's like timing based. Oh there we go. I gotta look at that map maybe. Man, I remember reading, like, the Timothy Zahn, uh, trilogy. Like, the Thrawn trilogy. And hoping that they would make... Well, honestly, I wanted... I wanted them to go straight into all the Rogue Squadron type book stuff, because I wanted to know what happens with the rest of the Empire right after Return of the Jedi. Because, obviously, they span the entire galaxy, or known galaxy... So, just destroying the Death Star wasn't the end of it. It was a huge blow, but... Yeah, so I liked I liked those uh, books. They kind of showed what Rogue Squadron was doing to clean up Imperials after that. Back when I thought the Imperials were the bad guys. <laughs> uh, ooh, I should probably block a bit more. Getting shot quite a bit here. Ooh! So yeah, I always thought, like, the Timothy Zahn books should have been the new trilogy. And, like, the Kevin J. Anderson trilogy was really good. The Jedi Search, I think, was the first book. And then, I think one was, like, Apprentice of the Force or something. And that, like... That went through the whole, like, setting up the Jedi Temple and everything. And then what did Disney do with the fucking sequel trilogy they gave the like like the jedi temple story what was it like a three minute scene of luke uh thinking about killing uh kylo kylo ren is such a fucking downgrade as well from what the expanded universe books did with uh with luke skywalker's children um I much preferred how Luke Skywalker got with Mara Jade. Um, peak white woman aesthetics, by the way. I can't wait to see if Disney like makes Mara Jade a strong black woman or something. Alright, so where do we go here? I see the marker right there. But yeah, oh my god, it's so ridiculous. I will say though, the Mandalorian, at least... Or wait, what? No, I'm thinking uh, Boba Fett. That show did something right at the beginning. It it showed Boba Fett's escape from the Sarlacc pit, and it was clearly inspired by uh, by that. Uh, I believe it was Tales from Jabba's Palace was the one that explained that. It was a short story book, and yeah, the way they did it on the Boba Fett show was very similar to how it played out in the short story. So I did appreciate that, but the rest of that show was kind of bad. Mandalorian was kind of good at the start, but then from what I'm hearing, it's just complete trash now. Yeah, it's... It's Jover for Star Wars, but we can at least still enjoy the older games, the older movies, and the older books. I think I'm gonna have to go here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? All the way back. I can see what I'm supposed to do now. Try 
try that again. Yeah, it's a real shame. Series used to give me a sense of wonderment about what else goes on in the universe of Star Wars, and now it's like, I don't want to know <laughs> if Disney's telling me what's going on. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh. Hold on. No, I can't. Okay. So I think I've got to jump from there. Let me look at the time here. Oh, shit, we're halfway. Yeah, I'm having fun because I'm losing track of time. All right, so I think I got to jump up to there right after. Arg! Let's try. Gotta do it a little earlier. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good. How do I, like... Okay, that's camera recenter. Alright, is there anywhere else? That'll probably... Hmm. I want to say I jump to this thing, but I feel like there's going to be an invisible wall there. And the marker's, like, over there for some reason. I don't get that. Hold on. Let's, uh, try to get to this one, I guess. Ah, oh, shit! I hit the wrong button. I feel like the A button would be a better dash button than the R1. I think you can fully customize it, so... Hold on here, I got an idea. Oh, what the hell? I don't know if there's input lag or what. It might be like a combo of input lag and my capture card. So I do feel like I'm just failing to hit do the double jump sometimes or the game's not letting me. Yeah, like right there, I, I hit it twice and it just didn't work. It could be a game glitch as well. Who the fuck knows? Or my controller. It could be a number of things. Or just the way the game works. Like, right... Ah, oh, man. I see, like, a passage on the map that goes to the left there. The thing just looks like it... Yeah, see, it didn't work again. What the hell? Did I just go this way? No, it's clearly like the one above me. I will say that's one uh, detriment to this game is the navigation is kind of confusing. Oh! What the fuck is going on? Oh, shit. All right. I don't know. That looks like something I can land on over there, but it might not be. Okay, we're good. All right, now we're... I gotta get up there somehow. Let's just see how high I can jump. I don't know if that's gonna be high enough. I mean, it looks like I'm supposed to go up there. Well, like... I don't know, I feel like I'm doing this the wrong way, but I'm still making it up there, somehow. Oh my god, I got up there. What is this? Oh, they're coming. Got one! All the combat stuff in this game isn't too bad, but it's a little janky with the platforming, the physics and stuff. Then again, the Xbox 360 one was janky as well. It's kind of weird how this health bar thing works as well. It's like... I don't get it. It's like it's telling you the overall health of the squad or something. I don't get that. Uh-oh. Bum, 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 bum. I'm surprised this recording method I'm doing is working. I'm recording through my capture cards recorder and OBS for my 
webcam. As long as it doesn't like slow down or crash, should be good. But yeah, we'll be doing that uh, Kunio Kun and Double Dragon uh, collection as well. I don't, I'm not liking how it's locking the camera to the boss here. Not very good. And it's it's a bit difficult to like target this to throw it at him. So I mean, this isn't a isn't a bad alternate version, but from what I'm playing, um, I still prefer the HD version of this game. This is kind of bad with the with the camera though. Ah, couldn't throw it far enough. Oh, come on! What the fuck? You asshole. There we go. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but... Do a little of that as well, I guess. Some... The lightsaber doesn't do too much. I'll throw these, like, big objects as well. <laughs> nice physics. Boom! Just smacking that ATST in the face with a whatever the fuck that is, fuel canister or something. I kind of have to be closer. Oh wait, what can I do with this thing? Ha! Nice. That's pretty cool. A little different than the than the uh, Xbox 361. Takes a little getting used to, but it's, it's all right. Heal. Uh, the only thing, it's kind of slow to reposition these. It feels even slower than the original version. Uh, still got the QTs. Ah! I was thinking B on the Xbox, not B on Nintendo. Ah, I hate QTs. Ow. Get away from me. Alright. ASQT. Product of the God of War games. And Shenmue. Although these style of QT finishers is more from God of War. Then like every action game had to do that for the longest time. So sick of it. That's why I didn't care at all when they, the the uh, Resident Evil 4 remake removed most of that. It's like, yay, that's an improvement. Yeah, we are at almost 40 minutes now. Nice. Yeah, I'll do an hour of this for you guys, and then uh, I'll do an hour of Double Dragon and Kunio Kun collection. Whoa! These guys are kind of spongy. Cover me. God, this guy's still fucking alive? What the hell? Who the fuck could survive that many hits from a lightsaber? That's a bit ridiculous. I think even, like, the 360 game, they would not take that many hits. What's up, bitch? I think I might like the Episode 3 Xbox game more than this. I'm not sure why, though. 
it's kind of cool that they made an adaptation of the episode 3 in game form. This might be mechanically better, though. I can't remember if I played episode 3 on video yet. I don't think I did, so that, that could be another future one. Since it does have a 4K update on Series X, it looks really good on there. Yeah, these guys are a bit lightsaber spongy. Good way to stun lock him with that. Oh, you little fucker! Stop shooting me! Hopefully, let's see it. Um. Forty thousand. All right, let's get. Not sure what that actually does. Let's get some of these. Like, yeah, I want some of these as well. That's what I was thinking. And like this one is probably. I remember this one being good on 360. All right, so I spent an enough here. Let's just save. I made some progress. Not sure what that saves, probably my force powers. I think it's X. Oh yeah, there we go. Not as cool looking though, for sure. I like the Xbox 360 combos more. I will say, this isn't a bad game, but I'm pretty sure uh, we fanboys at the time were coping a bit with this version. Yeah, it's fun, but it's not quite as good, <laughs> obviously. Then again, when do Nintendo fans not cope about their shit hardware? I'm a person who has every Nintendo console. It's like I'm not gonna sit there and lie and say, oh yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, the hardware is garbage. Yeah, it fucking does, okay? We've always enjoyed graphical enhancements in, in games, so, like. Yeah, just quit coping. Like, more powerful console is good. I hope Nintendo makes an actual console eventually. But no, they'll probably continue the whole hybrid shit. The boy. Months of attacking Imperial targets and Vader sends a Gaming is really going in the toilet though. Vader will regret not There's hardly anything actually new worth playing. It's all remakes and remasters. Think boy. I have survived much worse than this. Do you really think you can defeat me? <laughs> His face looks kind of fucked up. Do not let the dark side cloud your judgment. Fuck Vader you. I like the dark side. Oh my god. I do think some of the combat animations in this version look better. Know some of the little scripted clashes look pretty cool. Another heal over there. Whoa! Can I like lock onto him or something? I think there's a lock on button. I know there's that, but I'm not sure if there's an actual lock on in this game. That fucks him up. Yeah, that fucks him up real good. Yeah, like that looks pretty cool. Not doing a ton of damage though. I guess maybe you don't fight till the end. 
However, you're not going to stop me, even if I have to bring this whole factory down on our heads. Uh, Jedi's are fake and gay. Stop it, they... oh, still going. Oh boy. I can't even get close to him now. This is fucking annoying. One thing I'm not liking about the combos. Oh shit, I gotta get that heal. Oh fuck, is it not there anymore? Oh, there we go. Invisible wall. One thing I'm not liking about the combos is you have to do two lightsabers and then the lightning. On the 360 version, you could do the lightning after any number of combos, so that that seems worse to me. So you have to do X, X, or Y, Y, A. You can't do like Y, A, he just does nothing. That makes sense. But this... This boss battle seems a little more refined in this version. A lot of the stuff on 360 seemed rushed at the same time. I think this came out after that version. So maybe they had time to think of some better ideas for the bosses. I might be wrong. Adding all these little animations would have been nice. I mean, I think 360 had something like that, but it just it didn't look as smooth from what I remember. Vader thinks he's turned you, but I can sense your future, and Vader won't always be your master. There's that dialogue again. Me? Ah! Alright, so... Yeah, we got 12 minutes left. Should be able to play some of the next level as well. I assume it's another cutscene. I forget what the next stage was. Master Kota is dead? Yes. Yes. His lightsaber. You lack focus. You're easily distracted. <laughs> I don't remember that dialogue. Your own saber, you would be dead by now. Go to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Your training is far from complete, mm. my apprentice. This might be a different third level than the 360 version. Can't remember. Huh. Oh shit. Got Anakin. Strong Woman. Luke, uh, Child Killer Skywalker. Since that's what the Hamels like to do, apparently. Fucking human garbage. Yeah, thanks for ruining the character of Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. The guy who, like, is the original vision of the character is now someone who's not a fucking hero. This is kind of confusing. Uh... Huh. It is kind of cool how you can see the inside of the ship, What is it? I'm busy. Just looks like a glorified menu. Okay, let's just go to the next thing then. Oh shit, I'm moving over, it's gonna mess up my setup. Yeah, 
I can't remember if this was the second level in the original game. I feel like this was one of the DLC stages, so maybe they just kind of stuck it in the main campaign. This area is strictly off limits I like how the, the Emperor. Return to your ship immediately. I like how the visuals look here. They did the color scheme, of course, on it really well. Almost makes me remember why I like Star Wars. Almost. But... Now Star Wars is nothing but gay. Not a fan of that move. On the 360 one, you do the slashes, then he shoots out like a spread of lightning. Now, I guess that's an AoE, but it doesn't look as cool. It's just like a little zap. Does that use any of my force doing that? Let's see. Yeah, it does. Pretty big chunk. This is just like the Dark Souls of Star Wars, bro. Even though uh, Fallen Order kind of was that. In a way. Uh, it's such a shame. EA had to fucking do anti-consumer shit with uh, Jedi Survivor. But, like I said earlier, it's probably a good thing anyways. Because the game is most likely going to be more woke than the first. But that's why we buy PCs. Because we can... We can still somehow play them. I'm not sure how. I think it has something to do with using ExpressVPN, using uh, code AVGN20 for 20% off. It's just so you can access region locked content, you know, from Netflix. That's why everyone buys a VPN, right? Kind of a cool looking level. Ah, oh, shit. We've got a problem here. Oh, wait, maybe they're not... Did they fight me in this? I guess they are. Couldn't tell if they were friend or foe. Ah! Did I smack the other guy? Are they just respawning, or what? It's like... Fuckers are everywhere. It's dead, too. The difficulty is ramping up a little bit. So... After him, man. Okay, let's just keep going. We don't have to kill all of them. Unless we want experience, I guess. Oh yeah, there is kind of a depth of field when they're in front of the camera. That looks cool. I will say they did their best with the Wii hardware, that's for sure. Ah, shit. Alright. I wish I could just do Slash and then Lightning, but it won't let me do that move. Like, there's things I'm liking about this version, and then things I'm not liking. Like, the combo system, I'm not liking as much. Hold on. Let's see if I can unlock, like... Something else. Okay. Well, that's a jump one, though. What this one? I just want, like, a single one. So I don't... Okay, well, there's the detonate. A and then X. Try that. With this one. Yeah, there's not really, like, a single slash and then... Hold on. That one's kind of good. Yeah, see that? That one's a bit more like the the spread one on 360. This one might be good. So it's... Wow, it uses like half of your force. Whoa. That's some nice physics there. It's not awful uh, Havoc physics, either. Like, they're pretty well done. So I'll give them props for that. Ah. 
having trouble, like, lining up these shots. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I should have enough for one of these. Let's do B, B, then hold Y. Eh, that one seems convoluted. Hold on. I'm assuming these just get more powerful. So let's... Yeah, let's see. Maybe it costs less. Let's see. No, it costs the same. It probably just gets better. Where the fuck am I supposed to go now? Oh, this kind of looks cool. You will need all of your skill to survive. Is that a Jedi or a Sith Control statue? Your fear. Let go of your anger. It's gotta be a Jedi statue. A thousand Jedi died cursing Darth Desolus. Damn, look at this mongoloid. Now you too will scream my name. Earth. Now this is a I don't think... Yeah, he wasn't... He was not on the 360 version. Ooh. I wonder if that's like an old Republic Sith or something. Might be from that expanded universe. I'm not... I never got too into the old Republic stuff for some reason. I didn't like the style of it as much as... Like the modern. It looked too, like, Bronze Age, kind of, I don't know, like... I just, I like, I like the style of the original trilogy the most. Shit, this is rough, but we're last two minutes here, so I guess we either win or we lose. And since I'm not limited by the PS5 recording time limit, Okay, I'm supposed to get away from him there. I can just go over an hour, it's not a big deal. Ah, uh, the camera's kind of bad there. Should probably do that detonate thing. Ah, uh, the camera's bad there. Gotta do some QTs to damage him. We'll try to beat him. Shit, how do you like... Is it all just manual targeting? Because I can't seem to do any sort of like locking on. Seems like it would help to aim with some of these abilities. Ah, this is fucking annoying. Like, he just... These bosses do this thing where they just don't let you get close to them. It's kind of gay. Fuck, and there's no more health. I don't, I don't... Wait. Can I get over there in time? Yeah, there we go. I might win now. Let's see. You see? He's doing this fucking gay shit. Come on. Do the fucking move. Moron. Yeah, some things about this suck, and some things about it are cool. It's a bit janky. I, I was gonna do that, motherfucker. So yeah, yeah, like, the targeting is kind of bad. And the stun locking bullshit. Ah, he's gonna fucking kill me, isn't he? I should have. 
this. Like, I should have won there, but the targeting fucked me over so many times. Alright, at least I don't have to do the entire fight over. Damn, they give you, like, full health as well, and all the heals are back, so they definitely let you win here. Yeah, the targeting needs to be better. Do better! There we go. Alright. We'll probably end it after this. Ah, I fucked it up, of course. Gay ass fucking QTs, bitch. They love their fucking gay ass QTs in this era, didn't they? Fuck you. Fucking die. God, he takes so freaking long. It's like doesn't do damage sometimes. What is this gay shit? Fucking die. Stupid ass fucking QT. Yeah, this is something I'm glad died off. Fucking QTs. There we go, though. Master? Just over an hour now. Mercy, what are you doing here? My spies have located another Jedi. I do not expect you to survive. Kazdan Paratus is far more powerful than you. But if you destroy him, you'll be one step closer to your destiny. The Emperor. Yes. Only together can we defeat him. I will not fail you, Master. Shit. That's right, he was gonna use him to... kill the Emperor and take over. New force power, new mongoloid. Lightsaber crystal. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Oh yeah, I think the junkyard was the second level on 360. I wonder if that's... Yeah. We'll just see what this looks like and then we'll end it. No reason to stop inside the ship. Let's watch the rest. So that's kind of cool. They inserted the DLC level Amazing. into the actual story. That's a good it's thing to do. Like the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Proxy, are you picking up any communications? Too many to decipher. I can hear thousands of droids all calling out to each other. This is where all droids go to die. So this is definitely a mixed bag. It's good in a lot of ways, and it's got some flaws as well. You'll need to approach the temple on foot. I gotta get so used to the jank. The for my signal. All these games from Western studios around this time were pretty janky. As far as combat. This looks very nice. Very atmospheric. Smaller scale. Wait, did they let you go back in there? Hold on. Grab that. Yeah, you might be able to... Can you just, like, go back? Huh. So, let's see. Interesting. So, it's almost like, uh... It's a little bit like Jedi... What Jedi Fallen Order did later. Where you can go back in the ship and, like, go to other places. But this is more just, like, quitting the level. Interesting. Wait... Oh, are these things, like, the checkpoints or something? Huh. Let's just see what the actual level looks like when I get into it. And we'll end this. Yeah, I'm... ...pretty happy with this game. Got some droid enemies. Game has pluses and minuses. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, like, uh, pop in with those gears right there. Everything, like, grows. It's a weird way to do, uh, LODs. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's got the look of the 360 version. But it's definitely smaller scale. So, I, I commend the developers for at least doing what they could with the shit Nintendo hardware. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, which is going to be Kunio-kun, I guess. Since I got this all set up, I might as well keep it going. Alright, peace out everyone.